Um, excuse- Alright, I don't intend this to be that much of a long video, but I'm assuming you all know what's up, just from seeing the title of this video and from seeing probably the 50 million people that posted their complaints about this exact thing. The new splash matic has suction bomb and triple ink strike, where the regular one had burst bomb a crab tank. Now, to some people, this may be like, oh, what's the issue? You know, this is a good weapon. You know, it is a good weapon. It, it's a, it's the one where, you know, it has a cooler bomb. We, we, we like suction bomb. And, you know, triple ink strike, that, that, that's a cool special, you know? And, yeah, you're right. You can like that weapon. If you like that weapon, you know, there you go. Why we're making this video. That's hilariously the problem. <laughs> it's... It's good. It's that good. It's that good. But I'm mostly making this video somewhat to jump on the bandwagon with the whole everyone already releasing their thoughts on the Neo Splash Dramatic, but um, I feel like the Neo Splash Dramatic with this kind of kit, whenever it does roll around, I mean, for all we know, for all we know, Maybe it's not going to be as powerful as we think. Maybe they might actually like nerf splash matic or tone down the special points that it can require by an extreme amount. But if they don't do that, which honestly I'm kind of assuming they don't, it will highlight one of the bigger issues that I had with the game. I don't remember what video I was watching from, but I remember um, this dude made a video about talk like briefly touching about the meta of, Sp of Splatoon 3 and that being a lot of what you do is to throw as much stuff on the field as possible, which is usually why people have three splash matics on their team in the first place in, you know, higher up competitive play. It's because that's what regular splash matic can do. It's so good at throwing stuff on the field. First of all, it can paint. The main weapon is amazing at paint. That's just that. Second off, the main weapon itself, depending on who you are, is actually kind of flawless. It has 100% accuracy. It's a short range. Maybe that's like its only flaw, but that flaw doesn't really matter when again You can paint that well Number three it has that much of a mobility number four it has burst bomb and burst bomb is probably one of the best sub weapons in the entire game aside from fizzy and Number five crab tank does that so well unintentionally now. I will admit splash matic getting burst bomb and crab tank and then that ended up being the most powerful weapon in the game, I can at least give Nintendo a pass and say, oh, you, you know, that was just an accident, you know? They didn't expect crafting to be so good and pair with splash Dramatic that well. They probably didn't expect it to, you know, do that kind of stuff, you know? If, if maybe they could give it a couple nerfs, you know, maybe it might be fine. Like, again, we could give Nintendo a pass for the idea that they had no idea that it was going to be that strong. When you kind of do it again, though? Now, I'm going to be honest with all of you people and say, Suction Bomb and Triple Ink Strike on splash o I don't like saying this, but I kind of like the kit. Because, admittedly, that does seem like a fun kit to play around with. That does seem like a fun weapon to play around with. But, I definitely have to say, it still highlights an issue that I have with Splatoon 3. And it, once again, also highlights why I feel Splatoon 3 in general completely invalidates my two favorite weapons in the entire game. It is all about throwing as much stuff on the field as possible. One of the few reasons why I love Splattershot Pro so much is that it feels like the base weapon of rewarding you for your accuracy. Things like splash o -matic, Sloshing Machine, Ten Attack, Splattershot, and anything that is even remotely as powerful as those three weapons, one of the things that I really don't like about those weapons is that they've completely invalidate the style that I love with Splatoon in general. The style of using your aim to carry you to places. That was one of the few things I loved about playing Splatoon 2 so much, was that despite MPU being so prominent um, in Splatoon 2, was that even then, it still felt like I was being carried over by the fact that I was winning because I had aim. Splatoon 3, that's just not the case at all. Like, no matter how much I try to say it, something about that, that's not, that's just not the case at all. AIM really, I feel like AIM in Splatoon 3 has been completely gutted. Like the playstyle of primarily using your AIM to 
do something, which is why I love Splash Up Pro in the first place, has been just completely gutted. There is no reason to play weapons that require aim if weapons that don't require aim are flawless and have significantly better kits, and the main weapons themselves are better. No, I know you can't see me because I'm kind of uh, clearing out my nose because of some boogers, but like I said before, if you actually like the weapons kit, that's completely okay. It's just that, um, the unless Splash Dramatic itself actually does get nerfed, or it doesn't output as much triple ink strike as we think it would from whatever nerf it might get or from whatever special points adjustment it gets. If it doesn't get that, or even if it does get that for all we know, <clears throat> it's definitely still going to highlight an issue that I have with the competitive scene of Splatoon 3. It's really going to be reliant on special spamming. And like I said, throwing as much stuff on the field as possible. Completely invalidating a lot of styles in the game. Alright, well, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video for some reason. This is a short one, like I said. So, not a whole lot to highlight. And I'm sorry that I look like a mess. I kind of just woke up. And, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> great thing to be waking up to. Everyone DMing me about <laughs> Neo Splash Dramatic.